Let me start with introduction. The word communication is derived from the Latin word communicator which means to share. Communication is the process of sending and receiving ideas, thoughts and feelings from the communicator to one or more receiver in such a way that it delivers the message in the same way the sender wants him or her to understand. The skill of communicate solely depends on the individual's ability to convey ideas and feelings to another to develop a look for response. Communication starts way before words are spoken. However, the moment you start speaking, every word counts. Most people are born with physical ability to talk, but many people fail to communicate their ideas and thoughts effectively. It requires constant effort and practice to become an effective communicator. What is more important in communication? Clear speech, clear communication of thoughts, clarify unclear ideas and listening. Rules for communication. Ensure it fits the purposes. A, B, C. A stands for accuracy and B stands for bravery and C stands for clarity. K, I, S, S stands for keep it short and simple. Deliver information in three stages. Introduction, main body of the content and summary. Making communication effective. Avoid abstract words whenever possible. Maintain eye contact. Make the con content meaningful to the receiver. Encourage the purpose of listening and feedback. Speak at a moderate rate. Avoid communication with intense emotional states. Create a good rapport with the receiver. Select the suitable channel to communicate. Maintain a proper blend of both verbal and non-verbal communication. Be sure to make the message to be attractive, brief and clear. Frame the message to be delivered with respect to the capacity of the receiver. Questioning skills. Closed ended questions. Answer by a simple yes or no. Open ended question. Requires more thoughts and more than a one word response. Role of communicator. Picture. P stands for pitch. Low is most desirable. It projects and is more pleasant to the listener. I for inflection. Use feelings to express an idea or emotion emphasizing the keywords. Avoid being monotonous. C stands for courtesy. The audience expects courtesy. T stands for tone. It is not what you say that matters, but how you say it. U stands for understandability. Avoid unwanted and complex codes and jargons in your communication. R to rate of speech. Basic rate of speech is 120 words per minute. E stands for enunciation. Speak clearly to avoid misunderstanding or repetition. Essential of visual communication. Posture. Standing erect and leaning forward. This conveys that you are approachable, receptive and friendly. Face the listener to improve the interpersonal closeness. Hand gestures. Without gestures, the speech cannot be perceived as non-lively and boring. A lively speech captures the attention of all the minds, make the conversation more interesting and facilitates better understanding. Facial expression. Smile frequently. It is powerful indication that spread happiness, warmth and liking. It is often contagious. Smiling will make you more likable, approachable and friendly. Eye contact. Signal that or the speaker is interested in others. Increase the speaker's trustworthiness and conveys interest, concern and credibility. Space. Appropriate and comfortable space or distance for interacting based on the cultural norms. Effective listening. Research shows that the average human has the listening e efficiency only up to 25%. Most of the communicators believe that they are very effective in listening, whereas only few believe that they have an area for developing their listening skills. Effective listening is succeed only by a few. Not that it's very difficult, but the most of the people have never been exposed to build the habits 
that would help in becoming a better listener. Researchers have concluded that listening effectively will help in collecting more information from the speaker, which in turn leads the speaker to build trust with the listener, reduce miscommunication and conflicts, help in understanding the intention and wants of the speaker, which finally encourages the higher level of commitment with your communication circle. What is effective listening? Effective listening is actively extracting the information that are being sent out by the speaker. By involving the expression that you are not interest, that you are interested and listening, providing feedback with the receipt of the message to acknowledge the speaker that the message has been received successfully. Effective listeners acknowledge the speaker that they have been listened and understood. Barriers of effective listening interrupt, stopping the flow and continuous progress to a talk. In general, while a communicator communicates, the listener most often interrupt the flow of the conversation, which interrupt the communicator from communicating the essence of the information which the communicator wants to convey. It is also deviate the topic from the communicator's point of view to the listener's choice of interest. Judge, forming an opinion or conclusion about what the person is going to talk. Do not judge the book by its cover, as the most famous formula is quoted. It is not advisable to perceive a person or the content which he delivers by mere behavior or to attire of the person. Do not reject an idea or an information just because it is new. It is also not advisable to reject an idea or an information just because it is old. Any thinking human being would use his or his intellectual faculty to analyze the information which has been communicated in the here and now without having any judgment that would not be useful just because it is old, it is new or old. Criticize, indicating the faults of someone or something in a disapproving way. Criticism is the biggest enemy of mankind. Criticism is futile. No one in this planet Earth would be happy to listen to criticism about them to their behavior. Even while a person is asking for feedback, the moment we start criticizing, the person may withdraw or may not want to listen to anything which is negative about the person himself. Unless the person voluntarily asks for feedback with the intention of self-development or willingness to change towards betterment. It is not advisable to criticize a person or their behavior. Argue, giving reasons on citing evidence in support of an idea. Expressing opposite way, typically with the aims of persuading, with their view. In general, they say, if we win an argument, we may lose a person. To the best way to win an argument is to avoid the argument. There is not bigger victory than to allow a person to win by understanding their point of view and taking a constructive action towards the result or objective. Rehearsing. Mentally preparing for your response while the speaker is talking to you. Rehearsing is a good while preparing preparation and not while performing. Most of the vital Im information are lost while we rehearse and when the other person shares an important piece of information. Advising. Offering suggestion providing recommendations before the speaker could clarify their needs. According to Benjamin Franklin, had many friends, but whenever he meets them, he will speak to the extent of making them feel bad, points out these mistakes and make them feel very low about their self. Even after getting so famous, he was doing the same. Many avoided him. One of his good friends finally decided to point out Franklin's greatest problem. At the age of 74, I realized something that the tool for good communication is not one's tongue but the ear, he said. The communicator has to protect one communication like a crystal glass. Once broken cannot be fixed. Dedication and self-content is necessary. Focused listening. Not to distract the speaker. Respect, accept and pretend 
that he is not distracted by anything but completely focusing his speech which built the trust communication should communicate in ways that if disagreeing with something conveys it without damaging the relationship appreciate the speaker when he communicates about him or his action also comment if he is wrong avoid commenting negatively in public don't criticize on the past don't always say yes also don't talk about his or her action often to minimize unwanted talks create a limit in your speech say no to unwanted action humor is appreciable simplicity is required being trustworthy is maintaining the conversation and secrets not commenting to others rapport building rapport is the ability to enter someone else world to make him feel that you understand him that you have a strong common bond motivational speaker by tony robbins developing rapport building is a skill that anyone can develop which bring countless opportunities we could have meet few people who managed to create sense of trust and understanding with anyone only within a few minutes the myth is that many believe is to be natural gift which is incorrect rapport is something when you create with someone where mutual trust and likeliness get started once rapport is established he or she is more likely to be open with the share information recommended you to others support your ideas how to build rapport strategies and techniques to build rapport are as follows find common ground be empathetic focus on your appearance use mirroring and basics find common ground when meeting someone new try to find something is common use open ended questions it is important to be sincere and to be make up a interest just because you have to create rapport be empathetic seeing and understanding people from their perspective and recognizing their emotions and feelings to be empathetic it is important to develop emotional intelligence focus on your appearance first impression is your best impression which is the key component in establishing rapport with someone use mirroring adjusting your own body language and spoken language to reflect the person with whom you are communicating to copying the person's posture and gesture as the person gets comfortable with you he or she might change their body language into their comfortable position mirror and change as well copy the other person language which include simple direct words or technical languages mirror the other person speech pattern such as volume vocal tone etc basics shaking hands firmly smiling being sincere and worthy trust looking people into eye holding your head up maintaining positive posture facing the person instead of diverting the eye into the media asking open ended questions email etiquette vague subject line subject line talks about the essence of information for receiver example examination date postponed result enclosed etc include a clear direct subject line which reflects the content of the mail second greetings open and close the email with a courteous greeting avoid using all capital letters using all capital letters may sound arrogance or in anger readers get irritated or annoyed while reading mails with all capital letters capital letters in email infers ailing or reflects shouting on the other hand typing the entire email in small case gives an insight of illiterate or laziness check typological errors typo errors are common however it is not good in professional circle it may also convey that you are not calm composed and a person in hurry use signature let there be your name designation and contact details at the end of the mail which provide authenticity more relevant information for the receiver to reach you to reach out to you appropriately 
which will be a great help for us. Reply with immediate acknowledgement on receiving the mail. By acknowledging on receiving and mail, we are making it clear to the sender that we have received the mail, which will save us lot of time, else the sender may call or send another mail asking whatever we received the first mail. It also talks about your commitment to work and the sender as a token of respect and mail manners. Greetings. Open and close the email with the courageous greetings. Level of formality. Address the person with a suitable level of formality and their name spelt correctly. Attachment. Ask the best time to send the attachment and most importantly check the file size. Proofread. The mistake in the email never goes unnoticed by the recipient and are being judged by making them. Fill the two column at the end. Emails can be mistakenly sent to the recipient before completing the mail or proofreading. So, it is always advisable to fill the two column at the end before clicking the send button. Final check. Make a final check to the addresses into two CC and BCC feeds or the content you prefer to reply. Body language. Research shows that 60 to 90 percent of our communication constitute non-verbal communication, which conclude the importance of body language. First impression is the best impression. Within the first few minutes of the conversation, we would have already made our decision about the other person and their intention about whatever or not the person is reliable. Eye contact. Having good eye contact gracefully over the entire participant listeners in the hall, rather than getting stuck with one side on the favorite person in the audience. Since most of the time, speakers get connected with few audience who respond through head shake or assertive listening behavior. Smile. Write before starting the session in a classroom or a lecture hall while our mind is occupied with the unpleasant incidents or thoughts. Naturally, our face frown, which creates an uncomfortable atmosphere for the students or the audience. However, smile is considered as the ornament for the human beings. So, make the most of it. A pleasant smile invites positive response from the participants. Hand gesture. Hand is considered as the biggest tool in public speaking. It empowers the speaker to connect with the audience. It conveys the message as for more clearly while communicated within without hand gesture. For instance, while talking about a tall structure or a small miniature. Students and listeners will be able to visualize our inputs which gives a strong positive influence for us during the delivery of the content. Standing posture. Many times we tend to be shift our weight towards one side of the hip which looks a little awkward. Balancing with the straight spine conveys alternance and assertiveness of the speaker. It demonstrates how confident the speaker is on his delivery and the subject matter. Voice modulation and tone. Voice is the greatest instrument even created by nature. Voice is the color of communication. It conveys and creates so much meaning and messages in the minds of the audience. A, B, C, D, E, F of communication. Accuracy. Anything other than truth is inaccuracy. While we communicate, people believe what we are saying is true for whatsoever may be the reason. If we are not saying the truth, is this code the essence of the communication? Brevity. If I am saying many things, I am saying nothing. If I say more than three things, I am saying something too many information. To communicate, one point may mislead the audience of what we wanted to communicate. Communicator briefly always grabs the attention of the listeners. Clarity. Having sound knowledge on the subject matter always enables us to convey the message seamlessly to the audience though it takes strong grounding, unparalleled focus on subject, single-mindedly, concentrating on the point to be conveyed. Distraction is the biggest enemy of any form of communication. Dynamism 
to say what is to be said first is always more essential in communication. Empathy Knowing what the audience expects, understanding the universalized requirements of the participant is the mastery. It requires a lot of attitude shift to placing ourselves in a position of our listeners. Flair A natural ability to communicate in an appealing style which is spontaneous and more genuine with empathy and sincerity. The radiance of positive aura translates as words from the heart which is true to the context relevant to the present moment. Let me conclude. A communication becomes effective while it is simple and easy to understand. Any information that could be effortlessly understood by the 8th grade student is considered as a parameter of good communication. Simplifying the essence of the information that is communicated to the receiver is the highest form of effective communication for development.